All right. Lovely. Okay, uh, yeah, we will start today's class with active and basis. And like I say, this very final Tahuni Adela objective, so I won't be going through everything in acid and basis. Kita akan focus benda yang nak keluar je lah, okay? And before I forgot, this coming Saturday, Saturday, so but I heard that you'll be coming back on Thursday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right? So Saturday, everybody should be settled out in college. Saturday night, right after my master class, we are going to have extra class. Okay? I want to have a slightly longer time to teach one calculation of buffer. Okay? The calculation is easy, but it's just long. Dan saya tak nak dia duduk di tengah-tengah class and I need to break it and then sambung. So, I want to give it straight away in one go. Benda tu senang, tapi dia panjang. That's it. Okay? Alright? So, we are going to do extra class on Saturday night. Uh, when everybody has settled down. Saya tak nak buat ahal malam. Kalau buat ahal malam, kamu jumpa saya the next day. Saya pun tak nak jumpa kamu the next day. I just need a break from you guys. Okay? So, kita akan buat Sabtu malam and yeah, just book that time for me, please. So, talking about acid and bases, I think the most important thing in acid and bases is what is acid and what is base, right? So, what do you know about acid and base when the first time? Tak tengok nota, tak tengok apa. When you talk about acid and base, what do you know? pH, all right? We will definitely talk about pH, right? So, kalau acid, I think the worry, everybody know, pH will be less than 7. But that, all right? pH cut base will be more than 7. I think that is the very first thing that you can come across. Other than that, like, just one more thing. Bila kita cerita pasal acid, bila kita cerita pasal base, apa lagi yang kamu kena ada dalam otak? Strong acid lagi. Strong acid sebab kamu dah tengok video, kamu dah tengok nota. Sebelum ni yang tak kenal pun strong acid. Lagi? Neutral lagi? Acid. Apa yang akan melambangkan acid? Produce H plus ion. Thank you. The moment kita cerita H plus, kita akan perasan. The moment kita cerita acid, kamu akan fikir H plus. The moment kamu cerita base, kamu akan fikir OH minus. Contoh acid yang kamu selalu jumpa, your HCl, betul? Your HBr, your H2SO4, semua ni adalah asid sebab dia adalah orang yang boleh mengeluarkan H+. Dan same goes to your base, dia orang benda pertama yang kamu jumpa. Okay, lupa NaOH. Ha, ni benda pertama yang kamu jumpa lah. Betul. The one that will actually release OH-. minus. So the most basic thing that I need to, I need you to have is this two. Saya tak nak apa-apa benda extra dalam otak kamu pada pagi ini adalah I just want these two things I want you to remember The moment the question mentioned about base It must always pH more than 7 Betul? It's a logic Especially bila kamu jawab soalan objektif Soalan tanya pasal base Soalan tu base Dia bagi pH value Alright? Dan pH dia pilihan jawapan A, B, C, D ada less than 7 Han pilih tak jawapan tu? Right? So the most basic thing that I want you to have in your mind is this. All right, nothing more than this. And because of this basic thing, you will then split into your strong acid and your weak acid. Same goes to your strong base and also your, sorry, strong base and also your weak base. Betul? And next question. What makes it strong acid and strong base? Dissociate. All right, now watch, there will be finally someone faster than you. I think I heard, I, I remember the voice. Safa and Betul. Yes, I only remember the voice, not the face. Aiman, the only two guys that will be back. <laughs> now watch, finally someone is faster than you after three months and a half. Because they are sitting right in front of you. All right, so are you jealous now? <laughs> Please do. Where we are? Strong, okay? The moment kita ada strong and the moment kita ada weak, saya masuk terus weak lah. Okay. The moment kita ada strong acid dengan weak acid and strong base dengan weak base, benda pertama yang kamu kena tahu adalah dissociation. And I want to use the symbol straight away. The symbol untuk strong dissociation adalah 100%. The moment untuk strong adalah 100%. Apa maksud 100% over here? Saya nak kamu pegang benda ni. Kenapa dia jadi strong acid? Sebab kalau saya ada strong acid HCl, it will be single-headed arrow, semua akan jadi H+, semua akan jadi Cl-. Betul? 
Kalau saya ada 100 biji, semua akan jadi. Same goes to the base yang kamu selalu jumpa, NaOH. Dia akan jadi Na+, dia akan jadi OH-. minus. Sebab tu dia akan jadi strong. It become very strong because everything that you put into the water will become H+, or OH-. minus. That is what we mean by completely dissociate. Okay, a new term for you today. So, your weak acid, weak base over here, slightly different. Your degree of dissociation or your percentage dissociation will be less than 100. Sayang, the less than 100 I mean over here is really less. Uh, to be honest, a proper weak acid, weak base, the dissociation will be less than 1%. Bermakna kalau saya ada 1000 biji, saya mungkin hanya ada satu biji yang pecah jadi H+. That is how weak the weak acid. Kamu bayangkan sekarang, dalam beaker yang sama, saya masukkan 100 biji HCl, so saya akan dapat 100 biji H+, dan 100 biji Cl-. Betul? Tapi dalam beaker yang sama, saya masukkan 100 biji untuk my weak acid, CH3COOH. Saya hanya ada 1 biji H+, 1 biji conjugate, and then semua yang lain kekal sebagai weak acid. Look at your beaker right now, comparison. Satu ada 100 biji H+, satu lagi pegang satu biji. I mean logic kot, kenapa dia kuat? Right? Strong, forever, completely dis dissociate. Banyak mana yang kamu masuk, banyak tu lah dia pecah. Weak, sentiasa, incomplete or we call it partially. And the partially I mean over here is really quite low. Okay? Is that clear? So far. Okay, tak ada isu eh. And why I put it in a table like this guys. The only thing that I think you need to do for this chapter, the extra notes. Yang saya rasa saya bagi tapi dia duduk berselera dalam nota. You need one thing. Alright. When you go, go home tonight, okay, when you go back your room tonight, pick up a piece of paper, do a square, something like this, alright, on your paper. You need to list down the example of the strong acid, strong base, weak acid, weak base. At the end of the day, the entire chapter is talking about your acid base. More specific, strong acid, weak acid, strong base, weak base. So, bila hang baca soalan, hang kena tahu siapa strong, siapa weak. Betul? Dah start jawab tutorial. Semalam ramai bila mesej saya. Okay? So, bila kamu dah start jawab tutorial, you realize that when you calculate your strong acid, strong base, it's different. Betul? Okay, uh, video baru naik tengah malam. I'm so sorry. I just, yeah, I, 24 hours is just not enough. Dah dua malam dah saya tidur pun. Saya tidur tiga jam je kot saya sah. And I still have a lot to do. I'm so sorry. Just, I know the video is a bit slow but the entire story started because Miss Wong hampa gatai dan pergi daftar buat master. And the story started. And 24 hours is not enough. It wasn't enough before this. And it become worse. And life is tough. And I don't know why I'm doing it. And there's a moment I feel like closing down the YouTube channel. There was one night said they Google how to close the YouTube channel. And rupanya is only a button. All right. Where we are. Okay. So, uh, if you have tried the question, okay, if you have read the notes, you realize that your strong acid, strong base, kita boleh kira terus daripada concentration dan chemical equation. You need two things. One chemical equation, then the formula, you get it straight away. Betul? But the only thing different in the strong base is you need to find the pH one more step. 14 minus. Betul? Sebab dia adalah base, dalam base saya hanya kena ada OH minus sebagai dominant. So yang saya tinggal hanya adalah concentration OH minus. Betul cara saya? Okay. Untuk siapa yang dah tengok, weak acid, weak base, you need what? How do I find the pH value for that? We need Ka, Kb, betul? Thank you. So your weak acid, kita ada kaderan Ka. For your weak base, kita ada kaderan Kb. And untuk calculate the pH value, kita definitely still guna formula yang sama. Saya yang cakap pun tak minum air lagi, hang duk minum depan aku tak penting. And please do. Uh, kelas saya kalau dulu boleh makan, saya tak kisah sangat pun. Hang janganlah bawa masuk pergi kari. Tapi sekarang, you, you, because you are wearing mask, right? Yeah, please do. You want to eat or anything, I'm happy with that. Just don't sleep in my class. Where we are? We need Ka value. Or we need the formula of Ka. And then we need ice table. Betul? 
and then we need an unknown x value betul yang tu flow dia untuk weight base kita kena ada kb kita kena ada i stable kita kena ada x value and cara nak kira sama kita still kena kira poh dulu this is basically the summary on how to calculate it okay ph akan jadi 14 minus everybody happy with that saya nak ingatkan satu benda i need a break Alright, saya nak ingatkan satu benda kat sini is Kalau pengarah lalu habis lagu <coughs> Alright, so just one thing I want to remind you over here kat sini adalah Benda yang selalu budak buat salah dan saya tak nak kamu buat Before we go into question Bila soalan tanya base, kita tak boleh kira pH straight away Kamu kena ingat yang tu, satu je saya minta, okay? Yang ni lah yang budak akan selalu buat salah sebab kita banyak bermain dengan pH. Throughout our life, pH is a measurement. Alright, we never come across pOH, betul? Okay, then I want to remind you over here the formula of pH coming because of the H related to the H part. Because of the H related to the hmm. H part. Tapi bila dalam beaker base, ladies and gentlemen, bila dalam beaker base, alright, kita tak ada H plus tu. Yang saya ada hanya adalah OH minus. Yang saya ada hanya adalah OH minus. So bila yang kamu ada adalah OH minus sayang, please I'm begging you on this. Mesti kena kira POH. Trust me, soalan bagi base ke, soalan bagi apa pun dia akan tanya pH, dia akan bagi pH. Sebab tu soalan akan jadi extra one mark bila soalan tu adalah base. You always need extra one step. Okay? So Uh, just now, talking about your strong acid, strong uh, base, semua tu lah empat benda ni. So, masalah utama dalam exam, aku tak tahu dia strong ke weak. Betul. Right? Itulah isu utama kan? Uh, the tips adalah, buat nota yang saya cakap tu. That is the proper tips. The slightly improper or slightly nak, nak tackle soalan, nak dapat wakar je kan? KA, KB. Dua cara. Satu cara adalah KA, KB. The moment dia bagi KAKB ataupun soalan tanya KAKB, you know that it's a weak. Automatically. Strong tak boleh ada KAKB. Yang tu yang pertama. Yang kedua, kalau soalan bagi equation, oh I forgot about you guys, I should be looking here. Sorry. Ah, uh, The next one adalah selain daripada KAKB adalah when the question give you equation. Bila soalan bagi equation, strong acid, strong base akan jadi single headed arrow. Dalam equation tu, kalau reversible arrow, dia adalah weak. Dua cara. Okay, dua cara. Tapi sebab saya tak guna sangat equation ni, sebab equation selalunya dia tak bagi. Selalunya kita yang kena buat equation tu. Betul? So, selalunya KA, KB adalah indicator yang paling senang. Okay, the moment soalan bagi KA atau KB ataupun dia tanya, then straight away dia adalah weak. Dan straight away cara yang kamu untuk kira dapatkan pH value will be different. Strong boleh kira terus. Kalau weak kena ada KA, kena ada I stable baru boleh dapat. Boleh beza? Dan yang saya sakit keluar dalam exam adalah weak. Okay. Yang saya rasa akan keluar exam adalah weak. Strong is too easy. Not up to the standard of level 3 question. Okay. No matter. Paling teruk strong pun adalah diprotic, triprotic. Dia jadi dua mode, tiga mode different. Itu soalan paling susah dah untuk strong. And not up to that level, I think. Okay. Any questions so far before we move on to exercise? Just untuk strong and big dulu. Then we will go into buffer. Okay. Any question? No? All right. If no, uh, question 7.1.2. Along the way, saya akan ajar conjugate. Along the way, saya akan ajar formula KA darab KB sama dengan KW. Along the way, kita akan jumpa semua formula. Okay? So, yang lain tu saya akan ajar guna soalan terus lah. Conjugate acid, conjugate base. Ada masalah? Senang gila kan? Tak ada cara yang paling senang lah untuk tengok produk aja. Okay? Alright, exercise uh, 7.1.2. Soalan mana nak bincang? Soalan? Six, alright. The only thing that is not best when you're sitting in front is I cannot open my mask. And I cannot drink my coffee freely. And so, <clears throat> it's 
menang hari ini. So let's take a look at six. Benzoic acid. Okay, benzoic acid is an organic compound which is widely used mm. as a food. If a baker feel blah 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 blah, calculate the pH of the benzoic acid. First question, benzoic acid adalah weak, weak acid or weak base? Okay. Weak acid. Thank you. No worries, dalam mat. Finally. Okay. Uh, no worries, you are still fast, very fast. At least you are the only one that opened the mic and you know start answering my question because no one else did. Okay. Over here, your benzoic acid, bila kita baca soalan, especially objective to subjective, bila kamu jumpa compound, I think it's very important for you to identify dia adalah acid or base, dan dia adalah weak atau strong. Tu benda pertama yang saya akan conteng. Dan bila saya kata conteng, dalam exam, saya conteng macam ni je. Dan bila dalam exam, saya conteng dia adalah acid, saya akan tulis siap-siap, saya boleh kira pH. Okay, that is the way yang saya akan jawab soalan. Saya kena tahu dia asid atau base. Saya kena tahu saya kira pH dulu atau pOH dulu. Yang tu adalah reminder kamu. So, then the question asking for the pH of the benzoic acid. Dia minta pH dan dia adalah asid. I think it's quite easy. Step one, how do I start? Chemical equation. Chemical equation. Always start with chemical equation dalam acid. Tak kisah strong acid, strong base or so on. Okay. So, you have your C6H5. COOH, tak perlu tambah dengan H2O. Reversible arrow sebab dia adalah weak dan disebabkan dia adalah acid, betul? So kita buang H+. So tak payah hafal pun. Budak selalu kata saya tak tahu conjugate dia apa. Tak payah tahu sayang, dia buang H+, ni lah conjugate dia. Okay? And I use the word conjugate. Next question for you. What type of conjugate is this? Conjugate, base. Kenapa conjugate base? Sebab dia datang dari? Okay, extra question lagi. Yang ni adalah weak acid. So kawan kamu kata yang ni adalah conjugate base. So my next question, the strength of this conjugate base, strong or weak? Strong. Strong. Inversely? Proportional. The stronger, sorry, the weaker the acid, the stronger the conjugate. The stronger the acid, the weaker the conjugate. So now, so it's a weak acid, therefore it's a strong conjugate base. Easy? Sangat senang. All right. So you have your equation already, and the next thing is make sure your equation is balanced. All right. Please make sure your equation is balanced. And right now, balance. Do you? Next thing, what do we do? Very stable. Ice table, that ice table saya in the term of? Concentration. Concentration. Tafan, Ham menjawab soalan ke Ham nyanyi weh? Apa ni? Salah air. Kalau siapa yang tambah air, boleh? Siapa yang tambah air, okay? Sebab ada orang duduk depan mata saya kata tambah air, so kita buat yang tambah air. Uh, tak salah eh, tak salah. Alright, tak salah kat sini. So, yes, boleh. Tapi apa beza dia sayang? H3O plus. Yes. And anybody want to ask what is the difference between H3O plus and uh, H plus? Are they the same? They are the same. They are the same. Alright, tak ada isu. They are the same. Okay. So, we stick with that. Tapi untuk siapa yang guna air saya, disebabkan air stable misuang sekarang adalah in term of concentration, Therefore, air is a liquid. Everything will be ignored. Remember your chapter 6? Kita tak guna kosong lah. Kita guna dash. Okay. Starting off with the initial. If a beaker is filled with 1.21 molar of benzoic acid. So, 1.21 molar is my initial. What would be the initial for my product? Zero. Hampa duduk depan ke? Hampa duduk kat bilik ke? Hampa still tak nak cakap dengan kuat. Is my voice clear? And I'm still wearing that mask. Open up your mouth and start saying something. Cakap macam nak cakap tak nak cakap kat belakang tu. Nyampar aku. Where we are? Minus X. Plus X. Plus X. Betul? Easy. Dalam exam nanti sebabkan kita jawab objektif kan? Alright. Boleh conteng yang ni dengan cepat. Tapi satu je tak boleh buat cepat. Equation. Equation tak boleh salah. Equation kena balance. Sebab tu dalam video saya pecahkan equation tu kepada two step. 
write the equation first step, second step balance the equation. Yang tu tak boleh salah. Yang lain han nak conteng macam mana han conteng lah. Okay. Ada orang hantar kerja kat saya semalam tulisan buruk gila tapi jawapan betul. Okey lah untuk tahun ni. Alright, cuba kalau balik jumpa saya time depan. Tak ajar lah kau ambil. Yang faham pun. So pun tak nak jumpa saya dah betul Zon. Jumpa dua Sam dah. Tak sanggup dah. Okay, done. Next. So side eye saver. Setuju dengan eye saver. Next step. Alright, take away KA. Dan soalan dah bagi KA. So which I guess is good enough. Soalan dah bagi KA kat sini. So write the formula of the KA. The KA equals to the product. Sama macam KC, KP. Exactly the same. Concentration of the product. Disebabkan saya guna H2O plus. So we stick with H2O plus. Alright. COO minus concentration. Over with the concentration of your weight. Okay. Betul. Senang. Satu je syarat. Equation kena betul. Okay, two syarat dia. And then you got this ready. You check in your KA. Your KA given is 6.5 times 10 to the power of negative 5 equals to your X. X over 1.21 minus X. Next question. What do, how do we solve and get the X? Boleh buat assume atau tak boleh buat assume? Han mm -hmm. rasa recording video kita ni online baca. Tengok tak? Ke kita je tengok. Cakap je lah. Mungkin ada. Siapa nak tengok kelas dua jam eh? Aku pelik pun lah bila view awak banyak tu. Uh, saya assume budak saya rajin lah. Haa, <laughs> positif, positif. Okay. Wait. Dalam video, saya ajar negative uh, 4 and above kita tak boleh assume. Betul? Kita hanya boleh assume untuk negative 5 and so on. Dengar ke yang kat rumah tu? Betul? So, saya nak bagi tahu sekarang disebabkan jawapan dia takkan beza banyak. Dan bila jawapan dia takkan beza banyak dan kamu duduk di objektif. Betul? So, teknik will be, betul? Semua buat assumption. It's sex, ya? Your quadratic sucks. Agree? Betul? Your quadratic sucks. So, forget about it. So, saya nak bagi tahu negative 4 or so, kita still akan buat assumption. Step here. Unless, okay, akan ada unless lah. Unless pilihan jawapan A, B, C kamu sangat-sangat dekat. Beza hanya 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1. Semua jawapan tu nampak sama tapi beza 0.1. Then guys, you are in a very bad luck. Buat apa yang kamu patut buat secara betul. Buat paralitik balik. Tapi kalau kamu tengok pilihan jawapan kamu tak beza banyak, uh, pilihan jawapan kamu memang berbeza, dan dia bagi negatif empat contohnya lah. Sepuluh kuasa negatif empat saya. Suck it in and we are going to do one thing. Assumption. It will save a lot more time. Alright. It will save a lot, a lot time. Okay. So tak payah buat. I mean your product that I know how bad it is. Okay. So kat sini uh, again kita buat objektif. Kenapa ada yang baru nak masuk? Kita buat objektif. So tak payah tulis-tulis tu. Kita tampak terus. 10 kuasa negatif 5 kita tulis terus kamu assume. Cara nak assume adalah yang ni nak ajar sikit. Cara nak assume jangan assume semua benda weh. Kita assume yang ni je. Kali dia nak explain kenapa kita boleh assume. Kalau KA adalah sangat kecil. 10 kuasa negatif 5 and so on. 10 kuasa negatif 10 sometimes. Betul. Bila KA sangat kecil bermakna dissociation sangat sikit. Betul. Bila dissociation sangat sikit bermakna H plus yang keluar sikit gila tahap gaban. H plus yang keluar ni sikit gila tahap gaban. Bila saya ada satu inertia yang sangat banyak, yang berubah tu jadi sebijik je, pun tak sampai. Alright. So kita akan assume perubahan tu takkan menyebabkan apa-apa. That's why kita hanya assume untuk reactant. Perasan? Kita hanya assume untuk reactant. Atas tu hanya jangan assume apa. Okay. So bila saya tulis assume dalam, well it's objective right. So straight away to 6.5 times 10 to the power 95 equals to x square over 1.2. Life is much easier. Betul? Berbanding dengan Han nak buat quadratic Han 10 kuasa 2 Lepas tu nak pindah positif negatif pun salah Got sick. Alright? Stop doing that So, then Another thing when you have a kuasa 2 over here Your X akan jadi satu value je Betul? Okay, senang And the X value, please Do I press? Eight point eight six. Eight five times 10 to the power of negative 3 
the one that's sitting online is faster than you guys. For God's sake, what data very slow now? For God's sake. So you have your X over here. Dan bila kita dah dapat X, want to save your time, tak payah tengok orang lain kalau soalan tak tanya. The first thing yang kita akan tengok after you get your X is this one. Sorry? Power negative three, thank you. Nampak takut dengan saya kak? Just open up your mouth and start talking. No matter how horrible I am, you're still walking out as one piece. I won't kill you. Alright? Paling teruk orang kena marah je and you won't die because of words. Wait, they pun takut dengan saya weh. You can see how they they are just very uneasy seeing me in flesh. Uh, where we are? Yeah, 8 point eight six times 10 to the power of negative 3 over here. Uh, ambil empat titik perpuluhan sebab kita tak tahu jawapan dia akan beza banyak mana nanti di objektif. So kita stick dengan jawapan yang paling tepat. Okay. So you get your S over here and after you get your S like I say guys, tak payah tengok orang lain. Orang pertama yang kita nak tengok adalah H part. Orang lain tak payah tengok. Biarkan dulu. Alright. Saya nak tengok H part. No. So you want to move or how? You can sit here if you want. You can sit here if you want. Nak bergerak ke? Okay. Move. You can walk. It's okay. You can sit there if you want. Tak payah dengan kawan ham. Kawan ham bukan pandai pun. Terasa kah? Okay, so you got your X over here. Kita boleh kira PH terus sebab kita dah tahu concentration over here is your 8.86 something times 10 to the power of negative 3. So bila kamu dah tahu concentration H plus adalah banyak tu, you can calculate the PH straight away. PH equals to negative log concentration of H plus. So substitute in the value. Betul? And can I have the PH value? The pH value calculated is equal to 2.0521. Alright, something. Um, can be a set the jawapan as you can see. Kalau ada yang tak setuju, and uh, let me know I'll calculate. Okay. Boleh. Question. Ada masalah nak tekan negative log? Okay, to issue another another big issue tekan calculator tu. Selesai dengan uh, pH kamu. The next question adalah the concentration of all species present. So apa yang soalan nak adalah dia nak semua benda yang wujud. And I think isu yang paling besar dalam soalan ni dia tanya OH minus. Betul? Yang tu yang nak tanya kan? Ha, dalam banyak-banyak lepas akhirnya misal sampai soalan ni. So yang nak tanya lain saya rasa tak ada isu. Kamu hanya ada X. Kamu substitute and your X and then you will get it. Concentration H plus dah selesai kat sini. Kamu dah dapat uh, 8.86 darat 10 kuasa negatif 3. Concentration C6H5 pun tak ada masalah Sebab dia X juga So 8.86 bla 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 Darat 10 kuasa negatif 3 Concentration C6H5 pun tak ada masalah Kamu tolak je lah betul Okay 1.21 minus 8.86 Bla 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 Darat 10 kuasa negatif 3 So you get the answer So the problem arise Soalan tanya OH minus Boleh soalan tanya? Boleh Remember in my video I told you that Dalam satu beaker, kalau dia adalah strong acid, dia wujud OH minus. Betul? Cuma OH minus tu akan di completely neutralize. Betul? So dalam beaker, bila kita kata beaker tu adalah acidic. Dalam beaker tu sebenarnya ada H plus, ada OH minus. Cuma yang banyak adalah H plus. Sama juga kat sini. It's a weak acid. So dalam beaker weak acid ni, adakah saya hanya ada H plus? Saya ada OH minus. Tapi H plus saya lagi banyak. Okay? So over here, soalan nak minta concentration OH minus. Anybody, how do you calculate? 13 minus. Okay, ada dua cara. So, cara pertama saya dengar 13 minus macam mana? 14, aku tak tahu 13 datang dari mana. So, one of the method yang kawan kamu guna adalah dia guna pH value. Correct me if I'm wrong, betul? Okay. So the pH value calculated over here adalah 2.05 something I heard just now. So apa yang kawan kamu buat kat sini, dia jadikan pOH sama dengan 14 minus 2.0 bla bla bla. So kamu dapat kat sini adalah 11 point 95 bla bla bla. 947. Okay. Alright. Betul? And then? Okay, I love this one. How do you press your calculator? 
Ni sebab kalau kamu salah tekan, kamu akan dapat mat error. Ha, so macam mana hang tekan? Negative 11.9. Kamu akan tekan shift lock. Okay, kamu akan tekan shift lock. Bracket negative the value. Baru kamu akan dapat concentration tersebut. Betul? Ada orang guna cara lain? Uh, by the way, cara ni okay? Cara ni satu isu. Cara ni isu dia tekan kau kita. Okay, the negative kita tak bawa ke sebelah. The negative kita akan bawa sebagai negative tapi negative value 11.947 or negative whatever POH value that you have. Okay, dapat? Okay. Apa kata apa dua orang duduk sini? Main, main, main. Dua-dua sekali duduk. Aku berang benar tengok orang tak nampak. Duduk kat online pun tak nampak. Duduk kat sini pun tak nampak. Just move your leg. Iya. <laughs> Just getting it. Do you get it? They cannot see and they don't want to move. So yeah, come, move over. Thank you. Alright, ada yang ada masalah? Cara ni? You know the first person I want to meet when everyone is back? Diana, maybe you want to come and see me before your exam so that I know you actually exist in the flesh. The one that never on the webcam. Ever, no matter what happens. Kadang-kadang aku rasa mok ada duduk belajar ni bukan dia. Okay, selesai. Ada cara lain? Tak payah duduk, tak payah duduk. Tak payah pilih. Cakap je. Kamu jadikan OH minus tu jadi X. So OH minus adalah sama dengan 8.86. Ada satu cara lagi. Guna. Substitute terus dalam calculator OH minus tu boleh jadi X. Okay. Lagi. Okay. Saya pun ada cara. Cara calculator pun saya tak tahu. Laju sangat. Do you remember your KW? Do you remember your KW? KW 1 times 10 to the power of negative 4. Uh, negative 14, betul. So, another method adalah guna KW equals to the concentration of OH minus concentration of H3O plus. Tahu tak kenapa cara X kamu betul tadi? Because of this formula. Dalam kalkulator kamu. Okay. Your KW over here adalah 1 times 10 to the power of negative 14. Okay. Your OH minus adalah yang kita nak cari. The H plus adalah yang kamu dah jumpa, 8.86 darat 10 kuasa negatif 3. So ada dua dua cara, dua dua cara akan dapat jawapan yang betul. Siapa yang kira guna kalkulator kawan kamu cakap, sebab dalam kalkulator kamu dia dah ada benda ni. Alright, and the X that you get over that because of your KW adalah 1 darat 10 kuasa negatif 14. And if you ask me, yang mana senang? Sayang, yang ni tulis dua baris dah dapat jawapan. Saya nak kira POH senang ke, saya nak kira yang ni senang. Yes. Therefore, the second formula that I want you to introduce today, boleh ingat formula ni. Boleh ingat formula ni. Dan kena ingat KW adalah 1 darat 10 kuasa negatif 14. Bila masa kita nak guna formula ni? Bila soalan ada OH minus, dia nak H plus. Bila soalan ada H plus tapi dia nak OH minus. Okay. Cara ni, cara yang Safan buat tak salah. Cara yang dia buat tadi tak salah. Cuma dia banyak. Banyak set lah. Han kena kira dua formula. Kat sini han kira satu formula tu. Betul? Alright, again. Time, 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 time. Okay? Macam anjing terkejar orang pokok belakang hari tu. Alright? Dan majority orang tak hantar on time. Quiz on the last Saturday. Majority ada yang hantar on time. Okay? Majority kalau tengok Google Form, uh, waktu kamu log in dengan waktu kamu log out tu memang lebih daripada sejam lah. And... Time, ladies and gentlemen, time. Okay. Soalan setakat ni. Boleh? Happy with the formula? Alright. Remember this. Benda baru tapi gunalah. Okay. Next thing. The percentage of dissociation for benzoic acid. Sama. Dissociation macam kita belajar last week. Dissociation bermakna kita akan kira untuk reactant. 
Betul? Dan reaction kita hari ni mesti adalah weak acid atau weak base sahaja. Strong acid, strong base. Kalau soalan keluar lah, touch word. Strong acid, strong base, dia keluar dissociation. Rasa-rasa jawapannya? Stratus, betul? The answer will be straight away stratus kalau strong acid, strong base. Dia completely dissociated. So, kat sini dia hanya akan tanya untuk weak acid, weak base. So, weak acid, weak base saya hari ni nak cari percentage of dissociation. Anybody? Sama, the change over inertia darab stratus. The change over here adalah X 8.86 bla 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 times 10 to the power negative 3. Inertia kamu 1.21 darab 100. Berapa persen? 0. 0.7329. something. Dan sayang, like I said, percentage of dissociation untuk weak acid, weak base memang akan kurang, sangat kurang, rendah, sangat rendah. Okay, dia memang akan jadi kosong poin lebih je selalunya. Of course, kalau soalan keluar dia jadi dua poin lebih, han terima je lah jawapan tu. Okay, check balik dan terima je lah. Okay, and I think the biggest problem in this question adalah OH minus. Happy with that? Okay, uh, a few things that I want to remind you over here adalah benda pertama, equation kena betul. Benda kedua adalah uh, the new formula of your KW, guna formula ni. It's a very good formula to use. And the next thing. Soalan keluar bukan the next thing, the main thing. Bila soalan keluar, benda pertama, dia acid atau dia base, dia pH atau pOH. Itu benda pertama. Okay? Sorry, mesti you sangat kuat. You nak dengar dia mengajar. Okay, next thing. Next question. Next question, those that in the Google Meet. Nombor lima. Ah. Soalan khasiah. Soalan khasiah. Soalan khasiah dulu yang keluar sebagai soalan level 1, level 2. Serius? And you need to know, this is a, ni soalan khasiah ni saya ambil, one of my favorite questions. Okay, ni soalan objektif khasiah. Do you know in orange juice we have acid, right? Vitamin C and so on. Okay, and the acid in the orange juice, satu je kamu kena tahu, it's a strong acid. It's a strong acid. Okay. So, bila dia acid in the orange juice is a strong acid, then everything will be much easier. Betul? Alright. So, how do I get it? Concentration. Concentration apa? Uh, H3O plus. H3O plus. Alright. So when you have the concentration of H3O plus already at this moment, what method do you think you will use to calculate the OH? Do you still use the POH? KW, right? You'll be using your KW over here. All right. So when it's a strong acid from the pH, you know that it's a negative log of your concentration of H. 3O plus, saya dengar kamu guna H3O plus. So pH adalah 4.20 equals to negative log of the concentration H3O plus. Dari sini, uh, shift log tadi ada masalah? Tak ada, eh? dah rasa. Concentration H3O plus akan dapat terus. Dan yang saya nak ajar kat sini adalah guna cara yang sama tadi, saya tak nak kamu kira POH dah, panjang. So kita akan buat cara KW equals to H3O plus darab dengan OH minus, then KW adalah constant 1 times 10 to the power of negative 14. That will be much easier. Okay? H3O plus dah ada, kita cari concentration OH minus. Soalan nampak je susah. The only trick in the question is one thing. Okay? Dia adalah strong acid. Okay? Dia adalah strong acid. Boleh? All right. Can I have the answer roughly? One uh, times 10 to the power of negative 10, betul? Your concentration OH akan jadi times 10 to the power of negative 10. Over here, tadi saya dapat times 10 to the power of negative 5. Am I right? 
All right, wait, I'm wrong. Betul? So, uh, budak memang suka guna cara yang PH dengan POH. Saya rasa kamu selesa dengan 14 tu kot. Kamu dah biasa dengan 14 tu. Tapi cara tu sentiasa lebih susah sebab kamu nak tekan anti shift lock lagi. Kamu nak uh, negatif tu kalau hang tinggal dia jadi mat error lagi. Betul? So, buat guna cara satu start je lah. KW. Okay, easy. So, ingat-ingat sikit formula ni. Lagi? Lagi? Miss. Yang kat rumah? Miss. Yes? Dia ada pH tertentu tak kita nak um, kita nak determine dia strong acid ke weak acid? Okay. Alia have a very good question over here adalah do we have a certain pH range Untuk tentukan dia strong acid atau strong base, weak acid atau weak base. Alia tak dah. Kita tak guna cara tu. Okay. Kita tak guna cara tu. Uh, of course kalau kamu tanya saya. Uh, no Alia we, we don't use that way. Sorry. Okay. Kita still akan tengok sama ada dia ada KA value atau KB value. I think that is more appropriate. Okay. So Alia tak dah. Kamu tak boleh hafal range kalau pH adalah dari berapa jadi berapa dia kena jadi strong acid. Berapa jadi berapa dia kena jadi weak acid. Tak ada Alia, I'm sorry. Okay? Boleh? Tak ada. Alright. Lagi? Soalan? Soalan? Sorry? Seven. Handuk Umar pun cakap slow, handuk sini pun cakap slow. Duk Umar aku boleh besarkan speaker lagi kat sini aku nak besarkan speaker macam mana? Okay. Bukan soalan macam dalam video ke? I use hydrazin. Also. I think. Okay. Tak apa. Okay. Aiman says seven. So take a quick look to seven. What molar concentration hydrazin yield a solution of pH? Slightly different dengan uh, biasa. Biasa soalan bagi concentration kita jadi pH. Isu kat sini, dia bagi pH tapi dia tanya concern. Itu isu pertama lah. Isu kedua, hydrazin N2H4 is a base or is a acid? It's a weak base sayang. Geng-geng kumpulan amonia NH3, N2H4, CH3, NH2. Tak kisahlah si berapa kali pun X, uh, CH3, CH2, CH2, CH2. Berapa si pun NH2. Semua ni adalah weak base. Kumpulan-kumpulan weak base. So straight away kat sini adalah weak base. Dan dalam otak kamu sayang, bila weak base kita perlu cari P, OH. The moment kamu jumpa weak base, the moment tu kamu tahu dia adalah OH minus. The moment tu kamu tahu dia adalah P, OH. Nampak? So isu kedua. Isu pertama tadi adalah dia bagi pH tapi dia minta concentration. Yang tu dah pening lah. Isu kedua dia bagi weak base dan dia bagi pH. Nampak soalan dia? So the first thing before anything, do I use the pH straight away? No. We will definitely use the pOH. So kat sini kita akan buat yang kamu suka tadi. So pOH equals to 14 minus pH. 14 minus 10.64. I think kalau saya congak saya dapat 3.36. Betul? Okay. Agree? Dan oh by the way kenapa weak base? Nampak KB tu? Ah okay ya. Eh? Dia weak base sebab kita nampak KB. Lupa nak bagi tahu. Dia KB. So weak base kata lah. Selesai lah. Isu kan tu. Alright. Next. Since it's a weak and we cannot get the uh, concentration straight away from the equation. We need the equation and we need the ice table. Betul? So get the equation and do the ice table. And kalau NH3, dia tak jadi isu sebab NH3 selalu kita dah tahu dah, oh dia jadi NH4 plus. Betul? So kalau N2H4? N2H5, base terima proton. Betul? Base terima proton. So kamu akan ada equation. N2H4 equals, make sure reversible arrow. Kamu akan dapat N2H5 plus. Senang je, tambah H plus. Alright, satu buang H plus. Uh, dan saya hafal macam ni. 
I think it's a very good mask because I, it's almost not breathable. I'll be dying. Kamu bagaimana saya lelo? Where we are? Uh, okay. Dia selalu akan jadi isu untuk asid dengan base adalah budak selalu pening siapa nak terima proton, siapa nak buang proton. Betul? But I was a student bila ada benda yang kena ada dua benda je. A dengan B je. Saya tak hafal dua-dua. Apa satu. Dan yang paling senang akad, asid. Semua orang tahu asid kena buang H+. So kalau asid adalah orang yang buang H+, prop, uh, base adalah orang yang terima. Nampak? Alright, senang? Tak payah hafal dua-dua. Lagi banyak hang hafal, lagi hang jadi pening masuk exam nanti. Tu, tu tak kira lagi dengan fizik, bio, math. Tak kira lagi dengan hang nak study last minute, tak cukup tidur. Tomorrow, I will show you a very fun calculation. We will do some countdown. And we will see how the depth is around the corner. I do that every year, by the way. Plus OH minus. And kat sini, dia akan jadi isu adalah, untuk soalan ni ada satu je isu. Dia jadi proton tu datang dari mana? Betul? Proton tu datang dari air. Sebab budak akan selalu tanya, bila masa saya tahu saya nak air atau bila masa saya tahu saya tak payah air? Sebab kalau saya tulis, kalau saya yang buat, most of my acid equation, I'm not, not writing the water. Because I'm lazy. Right? So, for the base, when do I need to know I need it when you need to balance your equation? When you realize I need the proton to be accepted from somewhere, that is the time kita letak I. Alright? Your equation satu je. Equation kena balance. Alright? So, I stable, macam biasa. Change, equilibrium. Water, ignore, ignore, ignore. Easy. Alright? So, initial ada atau tak ada sekarang? Tak ada. Initial adalah yang kita nak cari. Isu paling besar adalah aku tak ada initial hari ni. Okay? So, initial kita letak unknown lah. Okay? Unknown kita ada safan so kita letak S. Alright. Letaklah unknown apa-apa sayang. P, Q, X, Y letaklah. Masih kosong, kosong. Yang ni bukan kita tak tahu. Yang ni kita tahu dia mesti kosong. So, over here I have minus X. I have plus X, plus X. Yang ni tak nak cerita. I, uh, equilibrium S minus X S minus X Aku pilih alphabet yang susah gila nak pronounce Okay, so let's try Next step, how do you get it? P O H Dari P O H kita boleh dapat apa? Concentration of O H Thank you Daripada P O H kita boleh dapat Concentration of the O H So Next thing that we do is by using the POH that you obtain, use the formula of POH, negative log of the concentration OH minus. It's a POH. So substitute in your POH, 3.36 equals to negative log, substitute the X. Nampak? Then you get your X. So again, your shift log, nampak berapa? Times 10 to the power of negative 4, kawan kamu dapat 4.3 something something times 10 to the power of negative 4. Setuju? Okay. Next, yang saya nak adalah initial tadi. Yang saya nak adalah S kita ni. Kita nak bergerak all the way up here. Saya nak ni ni. So your entire unstable ladies and gentlemen, I only have two unknown. The initial that I want and the X. And the X dah selesai, kita dah jumpa. So what do we use? To calculate the S. KB. KB. Thank you. Formula KB masuk. Okay. Formula KB akan masuk. KB will then equal to the product and 2 H5. Positive to the power of 1 sebab coefficient 1. OH minus to the power of 1 sebab coefficient 1. Over your N2 H4. Ambil kira air tak? Sebab? Liquid. Thank Liquid. you. Alright. Kimia boleh dapat A? Seriously? I don't come in for you to get a pass, ladies and gentlemen. So, you got that. Ada X? Alright. Substitute all the X. Kamu akan dapat, over here adalah 1.7 times 10 to the power of negative 6 equals to 4.3 six something tadi, 
times 10 to the power of 94 kuasa 2 over S minus 4.3 times 10 to the power kuasa 94. Dan kamu akan dapat initial of the N2H4. Betul? Dapat, dapat, dapat. Yang lain tengah kira, biar kawan kamu kira, jangan bagi jawapan. Can I have the answer from we will try. Diana, I I I hear your voice just now. So can I have the answer of this? Diana? Hai, Nuri. Tak habis kira lagi, Miss. Apa dia? Tak habis kira lagi. Tak habis kira lagi? Semua benda saya dah bagi lawan yang tekan calculator je. 0 0.1121. 0 0.1121. Setuju? 0 0.1 something. Okay. Uh, dia sangat bergantung pada titik perpuluhan yang kamu ambil. Kat sini kita kira banyak step before the final answer. So jawapan kamu akan lari sikit dengan kawan kalau titik perpuluhan yang kamu ambil lain. Okay, sebab tu saya selalu bagi jawapan satu point berapa-berapa je. Okay, so your friend getting 0 0.11 something. Yang lain setuju? Okay, perfect. Alright, uh, again, uh, lama tak cerita pasal unit sebab objektif kan so saya tak tekankan sangat-sangat dah. Uh, unit kat sini masih adalah molar. Semua concentration yang kita guna adalah molarity. Okay. Semua concentration adalah molarity kecuali topik 1 bila kamu belajar pasal concentration. Your molarity, percentage by mass, yang tu cerita lain. Okay? Still remember the thing? Okay. Question? No. Happy? Alright. Next question. Lagi? Lakam-lakam? Yang lain tak ada apa dah. Senang je. Sama je. Kan? Next question. Number nine. Okay. Dah? Soalan pertama sebelum saya masuk. PH siapa yang lebih kecil di sini? HCl. Why HCl? Strong acid. Strong acid. Sayang, sebelum kita masuk, uh, alang-alang ada soalan ni, kita compare sikit dah. I have a strong acid and a weak acid over here. And the most significant when it's a strong acid adalah you should know the concentration of H plus is extremely high. Therefore, the concentration comparable wise, your weak acid H plus will be lower. Betul? I don't know whether you have learned it in your mathematics or not, but the formula of the pH equals to negative log concentration. The formula itself, the negative log, is actually represented inversely already. The negative log is meant to make something big, too small. Kenapa kadang-kadang kita plot graph, kita ada value tu, tapi kita nak kena buat log concentration, log time. Kenapa kita nak buat benda tu? Sebab log akan menyebabkan nombor tu jadi kecil. Okay, so right now, is that they are inversely proportional. When it's a strong acid, your concentration H3 O plus is very high, pH akan jadi rendah. Betul? So, sebab tu kita tahu pH yang lagi rendah bermakna dia adalah asid yang lagi kuat. Ni adalah untuk saya kalau keluar objektif, benda yang kamu kena ada dalam tangan. Logic of your answer. A, B, C, D. Kalau dia bagi satu pH untuk strong acid, pH untuk weak acid. Logic pasangan mana yang patut betul? Can you see that? Okay, the logic over that. So, if 0 0.1, semua adalah 0 0.1 molar. Dua-dua saya ada 0 0.1 molar. Kita kira untuk yang strong dulu. Jauh lagi senang, betul? 
Macam mana nak kira yang strong? Negative log terus, betul? Kenapa negative log terus? Dia dissociate completely. Dia single headed arrow. Hydrogen akan, HCl akan dapat terus H plus dengan Cl minus. Betul? Ionize completely boleh, dissociate completely boleh. Alright. Ionize completely boleh, dissociate completely boleh, tak ada isu. Alright, tak ada isu. Okay. So over here kalau saya ada 0.1 bermakna semua akan jadi H plus. That's why kita boleh dapat terus pH adalah negative log. OH uh, 0.1 kamu dapat terus pH. Satu kalau tak silap saya. Okay. Okay. Negative log 0.1 is 1. Okay, selesai. Oh, saya tahu sebab saya dah pandai. Hampa tak tahu, hampa tekan kau kereta. <laughs> Yelah, betul tak? Okay. Apa-apa yang hantar confident tak payah dok corak tekan kau kereta. So, over here is a weak acid. Kat sini kita akan guna ice table. So, let's draw the ice table very, very quickly. Soalan saya, kita buat assumption atau kita buat uh, quadratic? Sayang, assumption je. Tak payah buat quadratic. Quadratic yang berteruk. Betul tak? Semalam bila hang buat tutup, paling banyak masa hang spend adalah hang buat quadratic, right? So, tak payah. Kat sini kosong-kosong, kat sini tambah X, kat sini tambah X. So, you got your X, you got your X. Tak ada isu eh? Okay. Semua faham? Alright, Ka. Ka equals to CH3, COO minus, H plus, and then this one. Uh, boleh H3O plus, H plus boleh Aiman? Boleh. Sama je. Sama je. Okay. So, masukkan KA value 1.8 darah 10 kuasa negatif 5. Kamu akan jumpa pacik ni X, pacik ni X, pacik ni 0.1 X. Alright. Buat assumption. Kita akan assume bla 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 bla. Han tulislah 0.1 minus X equals to 0.1. So, kamu akan dapat matematik 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 5 equals to X square over 1 over 0.1. Senang? Life is much easier that way. Betul? Anyone that doing quadratic, guys, do it only in here. Dalam exam, tak payah buat. Okay. Done. You got your X value. Can I have the X value from uh, Anas? Four, no, 4.24 mm, darat dengan 10 kosa 9.3. 4.24 darat 10 kuasa 93 saya dengar betul? Ya. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Setuju? Tak setuju? No? Ya. Yeah. 1.34 something. Anas, kasih aku kopi. Anas. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Saya silap tekan. Aku ketuk kepala hang. Ha. <laughs> silap tekan. Habis dah soalan ni, baik. Habis dah soalan ni ke objektif, baik mana? You know the biggest challenge in objective is yeah, I, I cannot even make you only better. I need to make you have no zero mistake. Is there any system or software that I can set on you so that you will be like antivirus throughout the one, three months, three weeks? Oh, yeah. Like, tekan calculator kena betul. Yang tu isu paling utama we. Okay, you got your X over there. You calculate your pH straight away from the X. Obviously, sebab so concentration H plus adalah X. So, kamu akan dapat pH terus lah. Let me negative log my answer straight away. Uh, higher or lower? Higher. PH gets 2.8 something. Betul. Alright. PH dapat 2.87. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. And soalan tanya the difference. Okay. How do you explain the difference? Or how do you comment the difference? Anyone? Kita dah comment dah sebenarnya. Ke atas tadi. Strong 
acid will have a lower pH value. Well, that is a conclusion, not comment. Why strong acid have a lower pH value? Concentration of H plus. Concentration of H plus. Kenapa concentration H plus tinggi saya? Strong acid dissociate completely in water. Tiga benda aja. First thing, dissociation ataupun ionize, ionize super guna. First thing, compare their dissociation. Okay. So when you compare, you only compare just uh, cakap sekali je lah. Tak payahlah cakap dua-dua kali. Nak cakap dua kali pun boleh. Strong acid, hydrochloric acid is a strong acid that will completely ionize. Aiman guna kata ionize so kita tukar sikit. It's strong acid that will completely ionize. Then only it will need to lead to, therefore, concentration H plus is higher. Okay. Jangan bergerak terus kepada pH dia rendah. Okay. Jangan bergerak terus kepada concentration H plus tinggi. Kena bagi tahu kenapa concentration H plus tinggi. The concentration of H plus over here is high because they were completely ionized. Okay, question? Question? Boleh? Alright. And compare dengan orang sebelah. Uh, therefore, of course, pH is high, pH is low. Okay. That is the comment. So, whenever you are comparing a strong acid, strong base or a weak acid, weak base, perkataan yang saya mesti nak dalam tu adalah completely ionized atau partially ionized. Yang tu saya mesti nak. Okay, then only kamu bergerak kepada OH tinggi atau OH rendah, H plus tinggi atau H plus rendah. Boleh? Okay, question? No? Good. Alright. No. Senang, tak ada apa. Kita nak buat soalan ni. Saya nak cari soalan ni tadi. Tak ada siapa tanya. Saya ingatkan ni akan jadi soalan pertama. Baru nak tanya. Saya nak tunggu sebab saya tengok masa kalau tak ada orang tanya saya tak bincang dah. Tak, tak boleh saya nak bincang soalan ni. Soalan yang saya nak bincang. Actually in the list ni lah soalan yang saya bincang. Yang lain tak bincang pun tak apa. Soalan hydrogen tu tak bincang pun tak apa sebab dalam video ada. Saya dah letak soalan ni, saya tak letak. Kalau semua nak letak, hmm, nampak tak masuk kelas aku dah. Alright. Ni pun macam ada dengan tak ada je. Okay, question 11 guys. So over here, I have an ethanol acid was prepared and it was determined that the acid has undergone 3.7 ionization. Calculate Ka for the acid. Ni adalah soalan yang di mana saya bagi tahu tadi. The question did not give you the Ka, Kb. But the question asking for the Ka, Kb. And from that, you will also know that your ethanoid acid, CH3COH, will be your weak acid. And the moment you know that it's a weak acid because of the Ka value yang dia tanya, ni cara senang saya ajak. You know that you will have adalah H+, the one that you will have adalah pH. Setuju? Saya tak tahu kamu jawab macam mana biasanya. Tapi kalau saya jawab, the moment saya baca soalan, I know who is my acid and base first. Saya nak tahu compound yang saya pegang tu adalah asid atau base dan saya akan fikir dia pegang H plus atau OH minus. Sebab saya tak nak kamu salah kat pH dengan pOH. Okay. Next. And it was determined that the acid has gone 3.7% of ionization. Blah, blah, blah. Tak apa. Kita buat dulu uh, equation macam biasa. Okay. So starting off with the equation of the CH3COOH. Sebab kawan kamu yang duduk depan mata saya suka letak air so kita letaklah air tu. Tak pergi, dia tanya pula kawan sebelah dia H3O plus boleh tak? That is the best thing when you're sitting in front of me. And I love it, by the way. Even though you don't. Okay, selesai? Setuju? Okay, ah uh, setuju? Lupa ampun lah weh. Are you jealous by the way? 
or you feel sick? By looking at your friend's face, I think they are quite happy. Are you happy, Go? She say happy. She actually say happy, but in a very low voice. All right, I assume she's really happy. Okay, because when it's too loud, then it's very fake, right? So yeah, I, I suppose it's, yes, like positive Guillaume as well. Just trying to be positive, guys. Over here is polar X, over here tambah X. Macam biasa, I stable saya tak ada issue lah. All right, tak nak cerita. Yes. Apa ni? L? F. Uh, untuk yang ni adalah EQ lagi. Alright, untuk yang ni adalah EQ. Ah, okay. Uh, saya penuhkan yang ni dulu. Eh. Kawan kamu kat sini tanya, apa beza EQ dengan apa beza F? EQ kalau dia adalah equilibrium. Reversible error. Bila dia F, bermakna dia adalah final. Sebab tu kalau strong acid, strong base yang kamu nampak dalam video, saya akan tulis concentration initial dengan concentration final, betul? Saya tulis initial, saya tulis final, betul? Alright, kenapa saya tulis final? Sebab pakcik ni akan habis saya. Dia tak duduk kat equilibrium, dia akan habis. Okay, ajarlah ala-ala ada orang, ada orang, I mean it's good, it's good. You did. When you realize on something small, that means you are really learning. Okay, and over here kita guna EQ sebab dia adalah reversible reaction, dia ada equilibrium. Okay, good. Very good. Okay. So, uh, setuju dengan ice table yang saya ada? Ice table tak ada masalah ya. Eh? Ice table yang jauh lagi senang berbanding topik 6 kamu. Okay. Kita akan belajar, kita akan banyak guna ice table dalam topik ni. One of the reason kenapa buffer saya nak ajar malam. Sebab satu soalan buffer boleh buat tiga kali ice table. Senang. Ice table susah ke kan? Initial concentration equilibrium, betul? Dia tak susah. Cuma hang kena buat lah. Okay, tu je. So next, what do I continue is, kita ada 3.7 ionization. That is the difference. And the only thing that makes it different adalah, to make it easy, equation. Percentage of dissociation, we know that is equals to change in initial darab 100. Tengok malas aku sampai tahap mana. Okay, change over initial darab 100. Okay, so the percentage of ionization given 3.7 the change adalah sini substitute in the one that you have i have this one that again dissociation kita hanya tengok pada weak acid weak base that is my initial that is my change and substitute in the value the change adalah x the initial 0 0.01 darab 100 getting the x and it saved your lifetime. Okay, and it saved your lifetime. Boleh? So, you can get your X straight away from here. Okay. Then, soalan dah tanya KA value. Saya tak nak KA value sahaja. Saya nak tambah dua benda kat sini. I want pH equals to how much? Senang je yang ni. Dan saya nak KB value sama dengan berapa. Alright, I know that you have your KA value already. I think most of you did. So, I want the extra question adalah, I want the pH. Sebab soalan tak ada. And I want the KB value. Please. Ini 
Dapat jawapan lain dah sampai Kamu tak habis kira X kamu tu So, do you feel lucky because you are back early? And at the end of the at the end of the day, kamu kau kena balik lagi last minute. Balik lagi tenang untuk untuk exam. Dah? Boleh tak? Yes. Alright, saya tanya KB, sebab kamu kena ada KA baru kamu boleh kena KB. So, get your KA. Ya. All right, think about the formula, the easiest formula that you can use for your KA, KB. If you did read the notes, then yes, if you are staying, if you got the notification on the YouTube yesterday midnight, then yes, also. And then after the video, All right, are we back? All right, those that in Google Meet, Haris, can I have my uh, X value, senang gila? Can I have my pH value, Haris? 3.4318. something. Haris kata pH 3.4318, correct? Setuju? Okay, ngangguk kat sini. Alright. So, KA value kamu akan dapatlah. I suppose kalau pH kamu betul, bermakna X kamu betul. So, when your X is correct, what do you need to do to get your, uh, what do we call that? KA is quite simple. Benda yang pada equilibrium. Okay. I hope by now you should know benda yang masuk pada KA adalah benda yang duduk pada equilibrium. Do you realize that? Okay. Equilibrium. Equilibrium constant K. Okay. Selesai kamu akan dapat KA. Substitute in all the value and sebab saya nampak kat sini semua majority dah berhenti sikit dah. So, um, can I have the KA value? 7.3046 times 10 power of negative 10. 7.3 ah, you say? Ah, yes. 7.3 something times 10 to the power of? Negative 10. Negative 10 untuk KA value. I don't think so. Impossible. 
Saya tak kira but it's impossible. I don't think so. Uh, baru explain kat go dengan apa nama saya. Patricia, alright. I, I I don't recognize. I mean luckily saya ada go dengan apa benda? One more the Chinese girl yang hari tu pakai baju tidur tu and they one is at home, one is here. Kalau dua-dua duduk kat sini pun I cannot recognize them. Okay. So over here, bila kita ada adalah weak acid, can I have your attention please? One second. Kalau yang saya ada adalah acid, weak acid, sayang, Ka dia adalah mesti lebih tinggi daripada Kb. It's a common sense. Dia adalah acid. So Ka mesti lebih tinggi. Dan kalau Ka kamu adalah 10 kuasa 90 10, it's impossible. Okay. And um, have you repressed your calculator? Uh? Um, tak jawab. Can I have Aiman? Aiman as in Aiman Saad, not you. Yang KA ya, Miss. KA. Uh, 1.4216. Darat kuasa 10 kuasa negatif 5. Darat 10 kuasa negatif 3. 5. Negatif 5. 5. 10 kuasa negatif 5. Setuju ke kelas? 5. Betul. Okay. You will have 10 times 10 to the power of negative 5. Right? Right. Dua kali dah jawapan lain. So saya kena okay dia. Negative 4. Negative 4 pula. Oh tak jadi. Saya salah dengar kot. Negative 4. Betul. Uh, what is the value by the way? 1 point something. 1.4 something. Right? Betul. Saya perlu kira ke? Okay. Saya kira okay, okay, okay. Saya dapat 1.369 times 10 to the power of negative 5. No, yes. Right? Right. Right? I trust you. <laughs> I trust you so much, you know. What the? <laughs> Betul ke? Betul. Alright, sebab saya tak round off langsung, saya guna answer, 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 answer. Okay, saya tak round off langsung, saya guna answer terus. Saya tak tulis apa saya yang saya tekan calculator. Okay, boleh? Like I said, the value might be slightly different sebab kamu round off. Okay, the value might be slightly different. Tapi darat 10 kuasa negatif 5. Kawan kamu kat sini yang round off ambil 4 titik perpuluhan. Kawan kamu dapat 1.42 something. Betul? Alright, so bolehlah lebih kurang kat situ sebab saya memang tak round off langsung. 1.42 something times 10 to the power of negative 5. Sayang, 10 kuasa negative 5, you know how much the difference is? 0.00001369. Kawan kamu dapat 0.00001142. See the difference? Sebab nombor yang kita main hari ni kecil-kecil. Oh, tak kecil lagi. Masuk uh, esok. Lagi kecil. Malam Sabtu lagi kecil. Malam Sabtu kita tak boleh off langsung. Okay. The play, the changes that we are playing will be very, very little. Even final answer, the the differences are meant to be small in buffer. Okay. Kita nak cari apa yang beza kecil tu. Ha, itulah dia. So that is your KA value and when you have your KA value, alah soalan ni saya nak tanya satu je sebenarnya. KW equals to KA times KB. Yang ni je aku nak ajar sebenarnya dalam soalan ni. Cita, cita punya lah lama. Okay. Uh, the new formula that I want to introduce for you again for today is this one. Your KW can also be equals to your KA times KB. 
not only the concentration H plus and OH minus. So KW ada dua formula. KW boleh jadi KW sama dengan KAKB. KW boleh jadi sama dengan H2O plus ataupun H plus OH minus. Okay. Dua-dua formula boleh guna KW dan ladies and gentlemen, dua-dua KW adalah value yang sama. 1 times 10 to the power of negative 14. Okay. So, boleh saya sambung dengan soalan lain? Okay. So, bila masa kita nak guna formula like this? Okay. Better in mind, at the end of the day, this is a bit of conclusion before I give you the extra question. Is the question giving you weak acid? Sebab saya rasa yang selalu akan jadi problem pun adalah weak acid dengan weak base. Strong acid, strong base tak jadi masalah sangat. Okay, betul. Dia tak jadi isu sangat. So, bila dia adalah weak acid, weak base, sebelum kamu proceed kepada calculation, anything that you want to find, kamu kena ingat one thing. Acid is a H+. Therefore, benda yang saya kena ada adalah pH. Benda yang saya kena pegang adalah Ka. Setuju? Alright. Dalam weak base, benda yang kamu kena ada adalah OH minus. Benda yang kamu kena ada adalah POH. Benda yang kamu kena ada adalah KB. Nampak? So, how do I interchange kalau yang soalan bagi lain dengan apa yang saya nak? Kalau soalan bagi concentration OH minus dalam weak acid. Saya acid tapi dia bagi OH minus. Macam mana saya nak tukar kat sini? KW concentration, uh, lupa nak letak sama dengan, excited sangat. Sabar ya, sabar ya. Sometimes you know when your hand move faster than your brain and whatsoever they call that. Alright, ah, well, betul. H plus OH minus. Nampak? The interchange. Kalau pH dengan POH, the interchange pH plus POH equals to 14. Yang ni tak ada isu lah. Another interchange. KW equals to KA, KB. Nampak? The things that you need. Kenapa ada, tiga, kenapa ada tiga formula kat tengah tu? Sebab the next question yang saya nak bagi adalah we are going to use that. Okay? Question so far? No? No. Good. Uh, set. Oh, saya ada slide lagi rupanya. Soalan lain saya rasa tak ada isu dah. Soalan lain senang je. Soalan last yang saya nak bincang saya rasa yang susah lah soalan sebelas tu. Okay. Yang di mana dia bagi uh, ionization. Betul. Okay. So the next thing that we are going to look at. Soalan extra. Mm -hmm -hmm. Nak asyik ke nak base? Base lah bawa base kan? Hmm. Last question of today. Soalan saya tak salah. <laughs> Dan yang duduk kat Google Meet tu, kamu you need to submit answer to me on WhatsApp. 
All right, random person. So please what? Saya soal yang sama balik. Uh, di asset or base? Yang duduk kat online. Base. Base. Yeah, base. So kalau ada base kamu kena guna balik slide yang saya bagi tadi. Fikir balik if I am having a base, what should I have as an information? Alright, there is a few conversion that you need to do before you calculate. Be careful. Oh, saya tak perasan dia duduk kat situ. Sorry guys. Oh, faster guys. Faster. Ni kalau keluar soalan ni ke objective, you only have three minutes. Come on guys, move, move, move. Tadi Nurin tak bagi jawapan. Tak siap lagi. So saya nak jawapan daripada Nurin. Dah 
dan saya nak daripada Saya nak jawapan daripada Nurin dan saya nak jawapan daripada Tayana Ayud eh Diana, are you there? Azri, that's it? And I'm waiting answer from Nurin. Your friend almost done, I think. Go done. Yang lain? Almost. Tadi saya lalu dah kira KB kan? Okay. I want answer from Nurin and I want answer from Anas. Uh, Anas dah tanya tadi Azri. I want answer from Azri. Dapat? Tak dapat? Dapat? Concentration dapat? Belum. 
Yang tu gaduh apa? Calculator lain-lain, keluar lain-lain. Do you clear your calculator? Shift mode 3, clear all. Shift mode 3, reset your calculator. Calculator lain, keluar lain. Can sue the company. Okay. Why? 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 Go. Hmm, tekan, tekan, tekan. Nurin, are you done? Nurin, are you done? Belum. Yes? Okay, betul dah jawapan tu. Gaduh dah. It's fun to see you gaduh in front of me. Aku jadi macam orang gila suka tengok orang gaduh. Ada isu tekan calculator pula dah. Azri? No. All right, guys. Can we take a quick look on Azri answer over here and and I don't want to kalau saya tak besarkan screen nampak ke? Tak apa-apa jelaskan. Yang lain nampak ke? Yang kat Google Meet nampak ke? Yang kat sini memang tak nampak sangat because the projector. Tak nampak sangat kan guys? Come on. Come over, come over. Come over, come over. Alright, yang duduk kat rumah pun sama. I want mistake on Azri answer detected, please. It's not so clear, I think. Is it clear? Please. Kalau tak nampak kat screen, come over. Come over, come over. I want mistake. I want mistake. Find a mistake. The very first mistake on top, saya dah jumpa dah. Reversible arrow tu. It was e reversible arrow. Saya tak tahu suara siapa but yes. Reversible arrow, the first one. And on top of the reversible arrow guys, aqueous, aqueous, aqueous and the liquid. And that is the reason why the KA, oh sorry, KB value down that. Betul? 
the formula of KB. Okay, Sambo? So KB, yang kawan kamu dapat adalah 5.556 times 10 to the power of negative 4. Setuju? Okay, setuju kita move on. Ice table dia duduk jauh gila daripada equation tapi fine lah. Ice table ada masalah? Ghost? Ice table ada masalah? Tak ada. We move on. POH dapat 3.43. Setuju? Alright. Okay. And saya tak boleh nak marah lah sebab saya pun, ajak, saya pun nak kamu cepat kan. So kat sini adalah formula POH equals to the negative log of the concentration OH minus. Concentration OH minus 3.714 3.7154 times 10 to the power negative 4. Agree. Okay. KB. Aku tak tahu apa benda KB ni tapi punya lah malas dia nak tulis. Uh, aku tak boleh kena bla 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 lah lepas ni. <laughs> Tulis kat aku blah 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 Azri you'll be dead next week when you're back You know you'll be dead man Alright Okay And look at this part The concentration is wrong I'm pretty sure right Sebab saya dengan 6.2 Alright Why? Why it's wrong? Dia, okay, we tengok formula ni dulu, kita tulis balik, okay. So when you have this thing, it's a KB equals to, uh, saya tak tulis equation lagi eh. Kalau tak silap saya, KB kamu should be, oh, get my dalam bag, bawah bag sekali tu. CH3, CH2, NH3. Uh, tak ada bla bla bla. Saya tak pernah tulis bla 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 kat sini by the way. Bla 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 saya kat jawapan akhir je weh. Yeah, thank you. Alright. So you have your KB value calculated. Kamu dah ada KB value. Alright. This thing kalau tak silap saya adalah X. This thing adalah X. And this adalah your unknown Y minus X. Betul? Azri? I don't know why it's your unknown goal. Thank you. Thank you. Alright? I don't know why it's your unknown goal. So, make sure you have your unknown over there. Okay? And yang tu adalah jawapan Azri lah. Okay, next one. Kita tengok jawapan kawan kamu ni. Ah, ni clear sikit. Azri yang belajar tak buka lampu kot. Okay. Kenapa tak clear lah hari ni? Malah saya guna, last week saya guna okay juga. <laughs> Dia pun okay je saya sah. Dia pun akan nampak je. Nampaklah. Tak nampak tengok kat screen saya. Okay. So over here kita tengok jawapan kawan kamu. 6 point okay. Yang ni looks good. I started with the equation. Okay. Fair enough. I stable says uh, tak ada masalah. Betul. The one that we are looking for is the y right now. So we are looking for the y minus x. Okay. Yang ni yang kita nak cari lah. Then the biggest issue over here is this guy, your CH3, CH2, NH2 is a weak base. When it's a base, the things that you should have is your POH. The things that you should have is your uh, KB. Betul? Okay. Lovely. So, soalan bagi KA. Bear that in mind. Okay. Just a bit of conclusion before we finish. Saya nak ingatkan satu benda. Kalau soalan bagi KA, KB, kita hanya boleh tentukan dia adalah weak. Kita tak boleh tentukan benda tu adalah acid atau base by looking at the KA, KB. Kita nak tentukan dia acid atau base kena tengok pada dia sendiri tu. Okay? Soalan confuse kamu dengan KA tapi kita tahu kita nak KB. So you use the formula that I just give to you just now. You find the KB. Okay, I assume it's correct ya. Eh? You found your KB right now and the next thing that I need is the POH. Sekali lagi soalan confuse kamu dengan PH. But we know it's a base. So cari POH. Dua benda yang kamu kena cari. This is where the confusion starts. 
okay and this is where the confusion start masukkan kb value uh, sorry masukkan oh minus value kamu akan dapat the concentration of your oh minus kamu dapat x kamu okay 3.715 times 10 to the power of negative 4 kb value yang kamu dah kira substitute X value yang kamu dah kira substitute. Okay, kat sini. Because go are doing this mistake. So I want to highlight the mistake over here. Can we do assumption? All right. When do we do assumption? You can only do assumption when we are finding the X. All right. When we're looking for the unknown, then kita buat assumption. Kalau kita tak ada unknown kat situ, kita hanya ada, uh, kita dah ada X dan kita nak cari initial, you need to do the substitution as always. Okay? We cannot do assumption. Kamu kena substitute penuh. So, the mathematics, you only have one X over there, then you will have 6.2 times 10 to the power negative 4. Betul? Setuju? Uh, on Google Meet, any problem? No? Okay. Uh, tomorrow, we will be going into the concept of buffer. Tak kira lagi, tapi esok nak sejam je, tak dah nak kira pun. I want to go a bit about salt hydrolysis. Sikit je, 10 minutes. And then the rest kita akan buat the concept qualitatively of buffer. So, baca sikit buffer solution. Calculation kita akan buat malam uh, Sabtu. Okay, calculation tu saya nak drag mungkin 2 jam kot. Nak habiskan. Alright. Nak buat 2 soalan je, tapi saya nak 2 jam. That is the, the time that I need. Okay? And uh, yeah, kalau tak ada apa, I think I'll see you tomorrow for buffer. Have a good day. Thank you, Miss. 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 Do you have class after this? 11 o'clock. Have a good break. Bodoh. Eh, 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 We're still here, right? Uh, I'll see you guys. All right, have a good day and go for your short break, I guess. Thank you, thank you.